Shalom, 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 Israel. This is uh, Captain Paul Israel from Kingdom Builders of Israel, LLC. And today's class topic is going to be on the book of Revelation, chapter 16, breakdown video, part one. Again, Israel, today's class topic is going to be on the book of Revelation, chapter 16, breakdown video, part one. Okay, Israel, so this is going to be a good lesson, Israel. So get out your pen and notepad, Israel, and take these notes uh, because this is going to be a good uh revelation series on the book of revelation chapter 16 okay because uh there are many other doctrines that's out there in the world uh that kind of branch their religion off of the book of revelation chapter 16 primarily uh the jehovah witness uh religion they primarily are picking from the book of revelation chapter 16 to push their doctrine on ideology but of course the jehovah witness faith religion is not biblical okay as we're going to get into this lesson to give the proper understanding of the revelation chapter 16 um breakdown okay so we're going to get it in this proper context as it is written okay we're not going to go into religion world like jehovah witnesses are doing or also uh people of the christian faith are doing where they're pulling uh the understanding from revelation chapter 16 and then just merging different doctrines out of it Okay, we're not going to do that here on this channel. We're going to speak thus saith the Lord. So we're going to let this Bible be true and every man a liar. So again, a lot of people not able to give the uh, proper understanding of the book of Revelation chapter 16 because they was not called to do so. Okay, so we're going to read in its proper context of what the book of Revelation chapter 16 is getting into. Okay, so you have to remove the false ideology from these religions out of your mind. Okay, when you come into repentance okay you hebrew israelites you have to repent from your ways repent from your ideologies do not try to mix the religion ideology up with this bible it's not going to mix okay so we're going to start out in the book of revelation chapter 16 verse 1 to get the understanding what john the revelator was getting into when he was seeing this understanding in the vision of these particular seven angels right bringing judgment on the earth okay based upon yahweh's order to allow this thing to take place due to the wickedness of the earth increasing at an all-time high okay which we got the understanding of in the book of revelation chapter 15 breakdown video okay so now we're getting the understanding that yahweh's wrath is going to be poured onto the earth in the future okay based upon the seven angels that was in the temple in the heavens right releasing these judgments in these golden vows okay that held the wrath of elohim to be brought upon the earth in the future okay so now we're going to go to the book of revelation chapter 16 verse 1 it says and i heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels go your ways and pour out the vows of the wrath of elohim upon the earth so john the revelator is hearing a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels go your ways and pour out the vows of the wrath of elohim upon the earth upon the earth so the most high is commissioning the holy angels because you know other angels communicate with each other but again like i said in general john the revelator is hearing a great voice out of the temple okay out of the temple saying to the seven angels go your ways because we know the order is you know in general coming from the most high because he controls everything he's the head of the angels of course so it was a pass down it was the information that was passed down to the seven angels to go your ways or go their ways and pour out the vows of the wrath of elohim upon the earth now this is the time where these seven angels that's in the temple that's going to bring these judgments on the earth because it is coming from the most high because he's bringing wrath on the earth because the wickedness of this earth has increased or reached a all-time high okay and we're going to pull other precepts to pull we're going to pull other precepts to prove that statement okay that the wickedness has exceeded a all-time high and this is when you're going to get the wrath of the most high to come upon the earth okay we're gonna pull a precept uh later on okay now we go to the book of revelation chapter 16 verse 2 this is the book of revelation chapter 16 verse 2 and the first went 
and poured out his vial upon the earth. And there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worship his image. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. You see this, Israel? So again, as you can see, it says, and the first went, talking about one of the angels out of the seven went and poured out his vial upon the earth. So now this particular holy angel poured out his vial or the golden vial upon the earth. Okay, because as like I said earlier, it was something like a hologram visual that was in the heavens in this particular temple that this particular holy angel was pouring out this golden vial or this vial cup like situation onto the earth like on a hologram situation to bring judgment on the earth okay so this is where esau the so-called white man get his understanding from as far as technology when you have like those hologram imagery okay so now the holy angels that's in the temple are pouring a golden vial or a vial or a golden cup situation onto a hologram earth okay which is going to be the actual earth because they're bringing actual judgments to the earth okay the white man the so-called white man can't stop this judgment because he's not in the heavens with the most high okay so again as we see this is a spiritual understanding okay and this is what john the revelator is observing the judgment's being poured out onto the earth okay this is the book of revelation chapter 16 verse 2 again and it says and the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast because what is the mark of the beast that's going into the so-called white man's philosophy that's going into the white man's uh religion understanding that's going into the so-called white man's understanding that that's embedded in the minds of the people that's walking this earth and also primarily our people the children of israel because the children of israel who are the blacks hispanic native americans they have subjected themselves to worship the so-called white man okay and upon them which worship his image because also our people the black hispanic native americans are known to be worshiping the image of the so-called white man but it's only a small remnant of our people that have forsaken that white image okay that came from what christianity because the children of israel who are really able to read and really want to do research we actually know now that yahshua is a black man not a white man okay and we're not going to be calling on that fake white jesus understanding because we are repentant as hebrew israelites okay but also the people of the world also are what worshiping that image in general which is the white image of christ okay which is not biblical okay but as you can see we go back up it says and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men so again this is going into your virus okay this is going into a actual virus that's going to be real serious okay that's going to be put upon men of disobedience men and women disobedience okay because they're not following thus saith the lord they're worshiping in Christianity. They're worshiping whatever the white man has been pushing throughout this earth, which is, goes back to false religions. See, the men in general of society, the women in general in society have forsaken the ways of Yahweh. Okay, they have resulted to doing wickedness in this earth. And primarily the blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans have been following the ways of the other nations, which is wickedness through religion okay they have not repented so the most High is going to be bringing a certain virus or viruses that's going to be at a peak of a real serious virus similar to uh just like the, that movie called resident evil similar to that okay because people treated the COVID 19 as if it was nothing so the most High is going to increase the judgments by bringing a more serious virus that's going to be painful because notice it says, and there fell a noisome and grievous sore because sore is going into your uh, illness or like I said, like a virus that's, that's basically put upon the body. Okay. It said upon the men. Okay. It said noisome and grievous. That's very painful. Okay. 
and we're going to get the definition of grievous right we're going to get the definition of grievous okay to show you that it's, it's very painful grievous okay this is the definition of grievous it says causing or characterized by severe pain suffering or sorrow so the most size judgment is going to be very painful for this particular virus that he's going to bring upon the earth okay and let's get to understanding what sore means okay let's be pacific it says sore causing emotional pain or distress physically tender it says as from overuse or injury feeling or affected by pain okay and i'm just keep going down it says attended by difficulties hardship or exertion it says that's the key point i wanted to get israel right here it says sore a localized sore spot on the body you see that the body and then it said number two a source of pain or vexation affliction so the most high is going to be bringing a certain virus that's going to afflict our people who don't want to repent as hebrew israelites or in general bring the so also in general he's going to the most high in general is going to bring a virus that's going to afflict the nations who are not hebrew israelites as well right I'm going to afflict them with a certain type of virus okay that's very deadly very painful okay they also had um you know movies they came out with an actual virus symbol they actually came out with movies that had actual viruses that actually came like a zombie like situation where the people looked like they was in severe pain there was no cure to treat these patients or whatever like that in different movies like uh resident evil uh, uh uh what's the other movie called contagion um it's other movies like um uh that dealt with different viruses that's out there you know that they came out in many different years but the so-called white man get those concept of movies from the bible okay as we've been reading but the most i got a serious plague of a virus that's going to be hitting the earth or viruses that's going to be hitting the earth that's going to be very very painful okay you're not going to have no cures for these particular viruses okay because all of this is happening because these particular men and women still want to worship the so-called white man and his image okay they still want to do, uh they still want to worship the white man's philosophy his politics they still believe in the so-called american dream or democratic situation going on or democratic or republican okay the world is the world in general is going to go through some problems in the future okay all because of sin okay but primarily our people are going to be caught off guard because they don't understand the bible they don't understand the most i got some serious viruses coming to this earth and they was uh it was a news clip that just came out recently on november the 30th of 2022 explaining that the scientists know about these zombie like viruses that's going to be plaguing the earth soon okay they're not sure if it's going to be theoretically man-made viruses in the lab that's just going to spread out or these particular viruses just going to come out in the atmosphere they're not sure but in the day these viruses are coming on the earth in full effect okay be all because of sin of the people in the world worshiping the so-called white man and his white image of christ which is not biblical okay so you hebrew israelites you need to repent or else you're going to be feeling this pain from this particular virus or viruses that the most high is going to bring on this earth that's going to be very painful more painful than any viruses you ever seen on this earth okay this is part of the judgments we have all witnessed the horrors of what one virus can do the coronavirus brought the entire world to a grinding halt and it took massive containment measures on a global scale. Vaccines were developed rapidly to halt the spread of the virus. That was just one virus. At its peak also, its fatality rate was not more than 4%. And now, what would happen if the world comes face to face with an even deadlier strain of an unknown virus? Well, there could be many such viruses hidden deep within the permafrost. The permafrost is a permanently frozen layer or one on or under the earth's surface. It consists of soil, gravel and sand, usually bound together by ice. And now a warming planet is causing the glaciers to melt. 
What I mean to say is that our protective white layer is melting more rapidly than we can imagine. Earlier, our main concern was the amount of greenhouse gases being released from the frost melting away. But now we have a different concern altogether. It is the release of dangerous ancient microbes buried deep under the permanent frozen zone. And this is according to researchers who revived nearly a dozen viruses, including one frozen under a lake more than 48,000 years ago in the Siberia region of Russia. The researchers who have revived a number of these zombie viruses, as they're now being called, have found the potential revival of viruses could infect animals or humans. Now, this is quite problematic. Moreover, in a report published in Science Alert, the same was reiterated by the lead researcher. Jean-Marie Olympic from the French National Center for Scientific Research said, that these reanimating viruses are potentially a significant threat to public health, although further study needs to be done to assess the danger that these infectious agents could pose as they are eventually released into the atmosphere. Now, this is a cause of concern as a virus is something that is neither living or dead. And it has the capability of being dormant for many years. But now with the permafrost melting away, these viruses pose a significant threat to public health. And clearly, it once again shows the perils of playing with nature. And clearly, more research is needed to evaluate the dangers associated with climate change. Now, to understand what this means, we are now being joined by Sarah Pitt from London. She is the principal lecturer in microbiology at the University of Brighton in England. Welcome to the broadcast, Sarah. Hello. So this is, of course, a rather unique finding. We're talking about zombie viruses. Can you explain how such viruses can survive for millions of years, frozen in glaciers and ice, and how exactly can they be brought back to life? Well, as you were saying there, because the permafrost is, is like a giant deep freezer, a very low temperature deep freezer, viruses can survive under those conditions. We keep them in the laboratory at minus 80 degrees, and, and they stay... Um, such that we can grow them again at once we thaw them out and viruses do need to live in organic material such as an animal that died having still carrying that infection and if that happens you know the animal is preserved intact and so all any infectious agents that might be inside it so as everything starts to thaw out the because they've been perfectly preserved all the, the cells inside the animal, the tissues inside the animal start to um, revive and the viruses inside them could also can also revive at the same time. Sarah, also, can you tell us how these viruses could infect other organisms and spread rapidly, even before we can find a way to negate them? Well, the thing about it is that if they're viruses which are thousands of years old, they might be ones that we're not particularly familiar with. They might be closely related to something that we have around now, but, but it won't be something that we necessarily know. So if animals or even human beings get infected with those viruses, they we might not recognise the symptoms. And we also might not have the diagnostic tests ready to go quite soon enough. And then that's how things spread so rapidly. As you were mentioning there, we've just, we're well, we're still in the experience of COVID. It spread so rapidly because people didn't necessarily know the symptoms were different from flu or a cold in good time. And then it took us a little while to actually develop the diagnostic tests. We did a really good job with coronavirus because it is closely related to it, the SARS um, COVID 2 coronavirus is closely related to SARS 1 and other sorts of common cold viruses. So we had a bit of a head start from a diagnostic point of view. Whereas if they're sort of thousands of years old and we don't know anything about them, it will take us a bit longer to get the diagnostic tests. And so the virus could really spread right. before we've really noticed that it's there. Right, absolutely, Sarah. But you know, while this is being hailed as possibly a scientific discovery, it's a little worrying as well. There's a question of ethics also that comes into play. Humans playing with nature can cause havoc. It's a recurring theme in most Hollywood films, especially when you talk about zombie viruses. Can you share how climate change poses dangers which have not yet been figured out? Well, in the same way that we don't really know what's going to happen as the climate across the world changes, where um, things becoming un things thawing out, which might have infectious agents inside them. There's also um, 
potential risk for things like anthrax because the spores from that's caused by a, a bacteria that produces these very very resistant spores and again they can be inside animal skins and the bodies of humans who've been infected with it and they potentially survive um a, for a very long time and, and very very well under sort of con um frozen conditions or be just being deeply buried in the earth actually and another thing that can happen is things like mosquitoes perhaps change their habits and their habitat and they might actually start as the, as with global warming as the temperature warms up everywhere and it also is more wet that the thing with um global warming is as we've all noticed there's a lot more rain and that's very good for mosquitoes they could potentially i'm not saying they will but they could potentially spread around the world and take things like i don't know zika virus or malaria to countries that didn't previously have them because they don't have the right species of mosquito so right. that that could all and it's all in theory, but it's something that we do need to be aware of. Absolutely, Sarah. So now we go to the book of Second Ezra, chapter fifteen, verse five, and we get the understanding of course. We get the understanding, of course, that Ezra is the same Ezra from the Old Testament. So Ezra is in the book of the Apocrypha for my new viewers who don't understand where the book of the Apocrypha is or where it's located. It's in the original King James Version Bible, sixteen eleven. Okay, so. We read it in the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 15 verse 5. It says, Behold, saith Yahweh, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. You see what Yahweh said he's going to do? Through the prophet Ezra, who is going by Ezra, the Greco Latin name for Ezra. You see what it says? See what the Most High said? It says, Behold, saith the Lord. This is the Most High, Yah speaking okay i will bring plagues upon the world the sword that's going into what warfare right that's going to warfare okay and it says famine that's going to shortage of food supplies right you can't purchase certain things because of the economy going down poverty okay it's going to come to this earth where you're not going to be able to buy certain things okay that's all a part of the famine plague certain things or certain rivers certain waters getting dried up where you can't get water okay the most i say he's sending these plagues on the earth then it says death death so that means a lot of dead bodies are going to be piling up based upon what certain viruses certain plagues that the most i is bringing to the earth okay or whether it's going to what the purge scenario where crime is going to be at an all-time high which you see today a lot of crime has been increasing okay and it says and destruction and destruction okay nuclear warfare okay nuclear warfare destruction or this can go uh to the what or this can go into what like earthquakes okay this can go to hurricanes okay when you go to like destruction okay also we go to second edge at 15 verse 6 for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled you see this israel so this is when these judgments are going to come to the earth it says for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth so when sin has reached a all-time high which we established already in the book of revelation chapter 15 the most i was going to bring these judgments out now we're getting understanding in revelation chapter 16 we get an understanding that these judgments are going to come out when sin has reached all-time high now we're reading the book of ezra right second ezra chapter 15 verse 6 these particular uh judgments that we read in the book of second ezra right when you see all these great destruction coming to this earth with plagues it's going to happen because why for wickedness or sin have exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled so when the sin has reached a all-time high that's when the most high is going to bring his wrath so contrary to what these religions are talking about talking about the laws of the most high done away with you covered and washing under blood you don't have to worry about no commandments that's a lie as you see the most high is bringing judgment because the world don't want to keep his commandments point blank period okay it says second ezra chapter 15 verse 7 therefore saith the lord or therefore saith yahweh okay so yahweh is saying it yahweh is speaking to ezra the prophet to bring judgment on this earth okay because yahweh is going to bring judgment on this earth because the prophets already spoke these words of the most high so it's going to come to pass because the words of the most high have been spoken and also has been written down 
Okay, there's, there's nothing you could do to stop the judgment of the Lord, you children of Israel, or you heathen of the other nations. There's nothing you could do to stop the wrath of the Most High. Okay, there's nothing you can do. Now we read some verses down where it specify certain plagues in general versus just having uh, just a vague terminology. Oh, I'm just going to send plagues upon the world. Now it's going to be more specific when we read some verses down. We read 2nd Ezra chapter 15 verse 49. It says, I will send plagues upon thee. Widowhood. Uh-oh. You see this? It says, I will send plagues upon thee. Widowhood. Poverty. Famine. Sword. And pestilence. To waste thy houses with destruction and death. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You see this, Israel? You see what the wrath of the Most High is about to do? All because sin has reached a all-time high on the earth, right? The Most High is saying, I will send plagues upon thee. And he's going to list the names of the plagues. Widowhood. That means women who don't have husbands. Women husbands are going to be killed. Okay? And also, it is a plague that women in general don't have husbands. That's a plague. You see this, Israel? Because women were created to be with men. So, so in, in, in today's term, I mean, in today's time, women have paraded themselves or boast themselves to be independent of the man. But according to this Bible, according to this holy Bible, it is a plague for a woman not to have a husband. Okay? So this is a cut to that uh, women liberation movement. This is a cut unto you. Okay, because the Bible said it's a plague for women to go through widowhood or to not have a husband. Okay, and it says poverty, because that's what's coming here to America and also across the world. The most I going to uh, change the currency to mean nothing is the economy is going to what shrink It's going to fall. Okay, the most I going to bring poverty, famine. We already established what famine is going to be shortage of food supplies, goods. Rivers and water is going to be dried up. All right. Sword that's going into destruction. That's going into your purge scenario. That's going into warfare. And pestilence. Uh-oh. That's, that's, that go your viruses. That go your illnesses. Which, which we already established in the book of Revelation chapter 16 verse 2. Right. Pestilence. That's going into viruses or illnesses. To waste thy houses with destruction and death. Because when you have all these things occurring around the same time, guess what? The houses that people live in is not going to what? Prosper. It's going to go into destruction because you're not going to be able to take care of that house because you don't have income. You don't have the resources. To, you don't have the resources to take care of the house. You, the women don't have husbands to defend the house because men were supposed to be what? The defenders of the house. To protect the house but as you can see it says to waste our houses with destruction and death because you don't have no man there to protect the house ladies your house is going to be destroyed it's going to be ransacked okay other men who are not your husband is going to run through that house and bring death and say and death because that's what happens in purge like situations Okay, when you don't have no government around to help assist you with problems when you don't have 911 See, in this day right here, in 2nd Ezra chapter 15 verse 49, there ain't going to be no such thing as police officers. As you can see, because it says poverty. Poverty is coming. So, police officers only police officers because they're getting paid. But in this day, they're not going to be getting paid because it's going to be poverty. It's going to be famine. It's going to be craziness happening in this earth. Okay, and it's coming soon, Israel. It's coming. Let's go to the book of Revelation chapter 16 verse 3. Okay, so now we got the understanding that the Most High is sending a virus onto the earth or viruses onto the earth to plague people that don't want to keep his commandments. The Most High is bringing plagues to the earth, it's primarily this particular virus or viruses to plague people who still want to worship the white man and also who want to stay in Christianity. Okay, the judgment of the Lord is at hand. Okay. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 16, verse 3. It says, And the second angel poured out his vial upon the sea, and it became as the blood of a dead man, and every living soul died in the sea. 
You see this Israel? So this is going into another angel that was in the temple that poured out his vow upon the sea, which was that hologram mimicking the actual earth, mimicking that actual earth, right? That this particular angel was pouring his vow over the sea or over the waters, over the earth to bring the judgment of death. It said, and it became as blood of a dead man and every living soul died in the sea. So this is going into warfare. Okay. Warfare. Primarily your more smaller wars. Okay. If you look at, um, that Taiwan and China situation going on, right? Taiwan and China situation. That is what this is getting into because when China attacks Taiwan, they have to mainly center around that water area because Taiwan is basically on a uh area by itself around surrounding the waters okay so this is what that conflict is going to get into this is the initiation of this particular um vial upon the sea this is going into warfare okay and it's going to be a lot of blood that's going to be shed in the waters of dead men or dead women because we have the women out there that's in the military as well but primarily it's going to be the army men of these nations that's going to be going to war during the china and taiwan situation okay so this is what this is getting into and if you look at this news clip that was uploaded back in august i believe august the 7th of 2022 this is a news clip that you could check out that this particular war will pop off okay because it's centered around the water and the sea Okay, so this is one of the judgments on the most high is going to bring to this earth as far as warfare when it's dealing with the waters. Okay, this is going into the Taiwan and China situation. Okay, so again, as you've seen this news clip, it's about to get real. Okay. So now we got the understanding that the second angel poured out his vial upon the sea that's going into warfare, okay, which primarily is getting into that Taiwan and China situation, okay. So now we got the understanding. So we go to the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6. This is Yahshua Hamashiach speaking. The reason why I'm bringing this out of Yahshua Hamashiach explaining you when you're in the last days, okay. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6. It says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. And then it says, But the end is not yet. So you see this, Israel? The end is not yet. So when you hear of wars, because these smaller wars, you're hearing the wars because you're seeing the wars. Okay? So you saw the Russia and Ukraine situation going on, right? Now, you're going to be seeing the other wars like Taiwan and China going on. Or you're going to be seeing the other wars around the earth happening. Okay. On a more smaller level. Okay. But eventually it's going to be building up to World War Three. Okay. That's what it says. And ye shall hear of wars. Meaning you're going to see the smaller wars and hear of the smaller wars that's taking place on the earth. And rumors of wars, meaning the big major wars. That you believe is going to happen. Which is going into World War 3. See that ye be not troubled. Because again you're not going to be troubled. Because you're supposed to be keeping these commandments. In these last days. You children of Israel. For all these things must come to pass. So, Because yes all these things got to come to pass. Because it is coming to pass as you can see. But it says but the end is not yet. Meaning Yahshua HaMashiach. Is not going to make his second coming. When these small wars are occurring. Okay, these are smaller wars that's coming on this earth. Okay, that's happening. So that's why he says, uh, that's why Yahshua says, but the end is not yet. Okay, this is not yet at this particular point when you're witnessing these things on the news as far as these smaller wars that's been taking place on the earth. But this is all a part of Yahweh's judgment. Okay, from, of course, the second, uh, the second vial upon the sea when we get into the small war. But in general, this is going into China and Taiwan war, okay, which most likely will involve America, okay? Uh, so now we go to the book of Revelation, chapter 16, verse 4. It says, And the third angel poured out his vial upon the rivers and the fountains of the waters, and they became blood. You see this, Israel? It says, And the third angel poured out his vial upon the rivers 
and fountains of waters and they became blood again this is going into another small war okay another small war on consideration of land mass because land in general is near rivers so this is going into another small warfare dealing with these nations okay the other nations okay they still going through warfare so the most is bringing different uh smaller wars onto the earth to build up to world war three okay this is what this is getting into a smaller warfare which you've been seeing like uh russia and ukraine uh you have um the uh taliban versus um you know the other groups and stuff like that so again israel as you can see you see the build up of these nations getting ready for world war three okay so again these are different wars so revelation chapter 16 verse 3 is talking about warfare at a smaller level dealing with mainly the waters and then you go to revelation 16 verse 4 this is talking about wars on land okay on a smaller level compared to uh the big major waters okay which is the ocean okay you see the transition but again these smaller wars are going to be occurring to have the build-up okay which we're going to uh explain in revelation chapter uh 16 breakdown video part two on the build-up to world war three okay so these are smaller wars that's going to be occurring on the earth okay and it's going to be a bloody war okay these are bloody wars as you can see okay of men or soldiers okay it's gonna be a bloody war um revelation chapter 16 verse 5 and i heard the angel of the water say thou art righteous o yahweh which art and was and shalt be because thou hast judged thus so you see this israel so now one of the angels right it says and i heard the angel of the water so one of the angels that put out the judgment okay on the earth when it dealt with the waters talking about warfare the holy angel was saying thou art righteous o yahweh which art and was and shall be because thou hast judged thus because why the nations are going to what get their judgment this is all a part of the other nations judgment for what they did to the children of israel so that's why you know this is talking about the other nations okay going into battle okay they go into battle with each other that's how they're being judged by the most high okay and also it's going to explain it further what i was saying in uh, verse 5 when you go to revelation chapter 16 verse 6 it says for they have shed the blood of saints and prophets and thou hast given them blood to drink for they are worthy whoa 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 wait a minute wait a minute you see this israel so now you understand this is a blood bath war battles going on amongst the other nations okay so that's why it says for they have shed the blood of the saints and the prophets who's the day that's the gentile nations that's your european union that's your china that is your 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 russia that is the other nations okay that's the other nations or india or or uh iran and stuff like that these are the nations that that dealt harshly with the prophets or dealt harshly with the children of israel throughout many years and the most is bringing judgment upon them by them doing these wars okay that's going to be on the earth these wars that you see these smaller wars that's happening on earth these are a part of the judgments of the most high to the other nations for what they did to us and it says and thou has given them blood to drink so now the nation's going to pay i mean so the nation's going to get paid back of what they did to us by having their blood shed just like it was our blood being shed when we was conquered as a people as the blacks hispanics and native americans we was conquered as a people our blood was shed so now the nation's blood is going to be shed in the future in deeper detail when we go into this understanding in the book of revelation chapter 16 verse 6 on down because it says for they are worthy because you reap what you sow that's what it's saying you reap what you sow you do evil to others it's going to come back on you okay so that's the judgment of the nations when they're going through these warfares that's why these wars are popping up here and there overseas okay that's why this is happening because this is the judgment of the lord this is the judgment of the most high yah to bring on this earth for the wickedness of these nations of what they did to his people revelation chapter 16 verse 7 it says and i heard another out of the altar say 
Even so, Yahweh Elohim Almighty, true and righteous are thy judgments. Because yes, true and righteous are thy judgments because the Most High is righteous. So he see the evil that these Gentiles did to the children of Israel throughout the years. So the payback is through what? Bloodshed of these nations going to war in different countries, different territories to build them up to go to what? The major war to fight who? Yahshua HaMashiach to fight the holy angels and to fight the 144,000. And that's where you get into the understanding of judgment day. Okay, so everything is building up to the judgment day scenario of this of the gentile nations okay of the gentile nations everything is building up to them to go to war to be judged by the most high Yah son yahshua hamashiach okay so that's why this holy angel said and i heard another out of the altar so it wasn't specific on which uh one that was at the altar that said it okay because you had one angel open up another vial. You had another angel open another vial. But John the Revelator just heard. And I heard another out of the altar. So John the Revelator heard another holy angel. That was a part of the altar. That was in the temple saying. Even so Yahweh Elohim Almighty. True and righteous are thy judgment. Because again Yahweh is a righteous judge. Okay. Contrary to what our people. The blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans want to do. They want to love everybody. Because they have a slave mind. They don't understand about order. They don't understand about right and wrong. They are, they, they go on based off upon emotions. They see the most I operate on morally right and what's morally wrong. Okay. And what's morally right is justice for the blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Okay. So these nations have to get judged. So the nations going to war with each other has to happen. Because they have to get paid back for what they did to us as a people. By scattering us throughout all the nations. Okay. See our people have forgot about history. Okay. But the Most High didn't forget about history. That's why he's judging them right now. Okay. So now you're getting the understanding in full effect. Why these nations are getting ready to go to World War Three. Okay. This is a build up. Because this is a part of the curse. It's a part of the plagues that the Most High sent into this earth. Because the wickedness has reached a all time high. Okay Israel. So. This basically concludes the lesson of uh, the book of Revelation chapter 16, um, breakdown video part one. Okay, so we got the understanding that Yahweh is bringing judgment to this earth. Okay, we got understanding uh, in Revelation chapter 16 verse 2. The Most High is going to be bringing these crazy type of viruses to the earth. Okay, it's going to be very painful. The so-called white man knows about these viruses that's going to hit the earth in full effect because he puts this understanding in his movies. Okay, and we got understanding that the most High is going to be bringing judgment of warfare, dealing with the waters with these other nations, primarily China and Taiwan situation happening. Okay, uh, we got the understanding that the third angel is going to be bringing other judgments onto this earth in different wars in different areas around the uh, different continents around the earth. Okay. So we got to understand it's going into warfare as well. That's going to cause the nations to what? Bleed out. Okay. In the rivers and or in the other waters. Okay. That's around certain land mass. And then uh, you got this other one. This other angel praising the Mosai. That the Mosai is going to judge the nations. Okay. So this is why the many different wars are happening. Or it's about to stir up and start happening. Because the Mosai is preparing the judgment of the gentile nations okay contrary to what our people are trying to do save the gentiles you can't save the gentile nations they about to go to war okay because it's written this is their judgment that's why it says revelation chapter 16 verse 6 says for they have shed the blood of the saints and the prophets they have shed the blood of you hebrew israelites they shed the blood of us so it's only right for them for their blood to get shed through warfare Okay, the Most High is sharing the reason through the, through the understanding of the Apostle John the Revelator. John the Revelator is explaining why the judgment of the nations have to come because they shed the blood of the Hebrew Israelites. They shed the blood of the saints. They shed the blood of the prophets through many different generations, not just the generation that we're around right now, but many thousands of gold generations as well. And thou has given them blood to drink because they're going to drink the same blood we drunk. Right. Which was death. 
and destruction, they're going to drink that same cup, which is the Gentile nations. For they are worthy. The Bible says the Gentile nations are worthy of death. They're worthy to have their blood shed because they did it to us, the Hebrew Israelites. Okay, so you Hebrew Israelites come out of the ways of the world because the Mosai says, it says, uh, because the Mosai is righteous. Okay, because the Most High is righteous and his judgments are true. Okay, and we go back to Revelation chapter 16, verse 7. And I heard another out of the altar say, Even so, Yahweh Elohim Almighty, true and righteous, true and righteous are thy judgments. Are thy judgments. So there's no sin in Yahweh's judgments because they are righteous. So the other nations getting paid back for what they did to the children of Israel through death and bloodshed. Hey, it is what it is because this is what the Bible says. Okay. So anybody that's upset about the judgment of the other nations, hey, take your beef up with the most high. Okay. But we're going to speak thus said the Lord on this channel, you Hebrew Israelites. So right now, so right now, you Hebrew Israelites, you need to repent, keep Yahweh's commandments. Okay, because it's about to get real out here, you Hebrew Israelites, because Yahweh is not playing with the world and he's dang sure not playing with his people who are the children of Israel. Okay, other than that, Israel, stay tuned for more lessons on Kingdom Builders of Israel LLC YouTube channel. And other than that, Israel, subscribe to this channel. Stay tuned for more lessons on this channel, Israel. Other than that, Shalom.